Hi, my name is Johan Falk. I'm in Stockholm, Sweden, and the sun is shining a fine day in May. This is the first of a few short screencasts where I want to show you some sketches about uh, concept model for using blocks and layouts uh, for Drupal 8 later on sometime. Uh, there's a discussion going on, or well, there are plenty of discussions going on, and here's a wiki page with one of the discussions over at group Drupal org, and the geek number is 227543. And here, well, a lot of discussion is going on uh, concerning how to, what well, the workflow for creating blocks and pages and, and uh, tying these together. Uh, one, of, well, one of the big discussions here is how to use uh, context and configuration uh, when adding blocks, because blocks will need context sometimes and they will need configuration most of the time. Uh, and it's, it's kind of difficult because you don't really know where to start. Well, uh, from a technical point of view, it's much easier to start with the context, but that's kind of difficult because then you need to add some abstract stuff because, before you can even get to the content that you want to place and, and things like that. Uh, a lot of discussion here. Uh, I want to mention uh, Ellie. Uh, that is uh, some kind of 80% uh, use case. Uh, she has a description here somewhere uh, that says what, what she does uh, frequently. She's an advanced content editor and, and uh, well, yeah, she does stuff on a Drupal site and she needs to be able to do some things very easily and that, that kind of makes sense. And um, yeah, so uh, in a few screencasts, a few videos, uh, I'm going to show you some sketches I made for a workflow for this and also some additional concepts that I think uh, could be brought into the discussion. See you in the next video. Bye.